Something's out there. Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my new scary story. Funny Fights. Super Green Dinosaur Terry meets Dracula the Vampire. That's the official picture I choose to put together of me at the bottom, some ugly bat creature on the left side of me, and then Dracula at the top. It says, part three, the bat monster in the night, and God gets the glory. Amen. My mind was going crazy. I thought that something went through my garage before I could close it. I thought it was Dracula hiding from me. Trying to sneak up on me after I turned off the lights and looked around when I had my super green dinosaur Terry costume on and that he got out of my place through the side door and was waiting for me in the backyard and attacked me. But it turns out that it all was a nightmare, a bad dream. It seemed so real. I woke up the next day feeling disturbed like this. <gasps> what just happened to me, you know? And I talked to a friend of mine on Instagram and she told me that vampires cannot enter into your house without being invited. She asked me who let him in and I told her that Dracula was mad at me and wanted revenge because I found his secret coffin in a dirt field. And now he has beef with me. I did research online and discovered that it's true. What my chat buddy told me about vampires. So I needed to be careful next time. I never knew when Dracula was going to strike. And he could be out there in the city. Looking for the perfect time to hurt me or kill me or scare me. Or whatever plans he had in mind against me. One night on a Sunday after I preached at the home church. I went outside to check the property. And make sure no one was in the front yard of my dad's house. Since I lived with him and my second mom who was married to him. Because my biological mom who gave me birth lives in Texas. And I've been with my dad since I was two years old. True story. Anyway, I'm outside in the dark, but had a weird feeling I'm being watched. Watched As I leave the front porch, something in the bushes grabs my right arm. <laughs> and tries to break it off. I'm in great pain, and the only thing I can do is call on God for help as I shout, Jesus, please help me. The power of the Lord makes the evil monster leave me alone for now, and I go back inside the garage, but I look behind me and tell Dracula, if it's him that's after me, that I'm not scared. And it's too late to fight because I need to rest and go to work in the morning. But I would deal with him later and he better watch out. I'm not in a good mood to be continued. Stay tuned, everyone, for part four next time. Hope you like the story so far and glory to God. Yeah, yeah.